Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. And welcome to this amazing extravaganza, Easter extravaganza. Uh -huh. Happy Easter to every one of you yes. out there. Yes. So you will have already have seen Mina's episode at 11 mm -hmm. o'clock PDT. You will have seen Cos Creations, then it's Oz. Next is Sarah Mac, and then the wonderful Fiona. What? So there's the five our channels, six people, all pouring this Easter egg extravaganza just for you guys. So because of the fact that we've got 30 minutes, we're going to run through this fairly quickly. Yes. But we have picked our own colours, we've picked our own techniques, and we will be pouring over both eggs and canvases today. Yes. Because this galah here is going to do something we've never done on the channel before. So yes. it's going to be really, really fun. Yes. All right, guys. So, without much further ado, we are going to jump right into this. Yep. Let's see you at the table for some Easter egg extravaganzas. Let's do this. Okay, guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am so excited about this. Um, oh, what is this? What is I that? Ha I have a balloon here. Why do you have a balloon, Jeremy? Because of what I'm doing today. Which is what? What is, uh, well, I got very inspired from my egg, eggtastic spectacular today, and I am doing a kiss and blow, oh. and I'm going to kiss my egg uh -huh. with my balloon with the paint from the canvas. Okay. So I'm kind of doing two things today. I'm doing the kiss and blow with my canvas, Mine. and I'm kissing my egg at the same time, which you will get to see. So and who's your inspiration? Miss Gilly Cube. Uh -huh. Yes, Miss Gilly Cube is my inspiration. And uh, I've and been I, watching and I... so many videos of hers, and somebody just recently messaged me and said, you guys should do this. So I'm really excited to be oh, doing this. Oh wow, that's this. cool. Yeah. And I think we pronounce it wrong. I think it's Jilly. Like that was Jilly. Jilly. I think so, I'm not 100% sure. Jilly Cube, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. it's, you know what? I think I've known I, that because I watched like a ton of her videos. No, no, I think I do all the time, <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so get all the natural embellishments off of my canvas here that have flowed onto it. Um, so, all right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to layer my canvas. Would you um, like to introduce your colors first? I would. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I am using today this metallic blue by Artist Loft. I am using pearl lime green by Arteza, which I love. I have this uh, Hippie Crafters um, Scarlet. Really? Now, also, I have a Hippie Crafters, but I accidentally threw away the, the thing. But this is Lemon Yellow by Hippie Crafters. And then I'm using Golden's Dioxazine Purple. Wow, that's a bit of everything there. Yes, yes. And then, of course, I have my white. That's going to be like the background flow extender. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and layer my cup. I mean, layer my cup. I'm so used to doing uh, ring pours and such. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and layer my canvas. Okay. Okay guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting a little bit of the white paint on the edge here because I'm going to swipe the, I'm gonna swipe the paint this away and then I'm also gonna put some white paint here and swipe back over that away. Ooh, yes. crazy. Crazy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know this looks crazy, but there is a process here. So next I'm going to take my little straw and I'm going to blow up. I'm gonna like do a little blow up. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna make like little stems kind of coming up. So let's see here. Okay, now begins the kisses.
Okay guys, so I did all these little kisses all over it. I think I had too much white paint on the top and that's what was causing a little bit of the trouble that I was having. Um, I tell you what, Jilly makes it look so simple and it is not simple, but I am loving everything that's happening up in here. And I love the kisses that I did on the, on the egg. I thought that they came out amazing and I can't wait for you guys to actually see like some close-ups of it. So this is me, I'm stopping right here and it's time for Lee. All right, peeps, it's Lee here. So, you just saw Jeremy do a kiss and a blow on a canvas and a balloon kiss all over his egg for his extravaganza, which I thought was fantastic. Really loved it. Today, I'm taking you to the beach. So we've got Donald the dustpan and we've got Scarlet the scoop and I'm going to ring pour into both of these using Scarlet to pour over my egg and Donald to pour over my canvas. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my colors. So for my base coat, I'm gonna be using my favorite. It's the grayish blue by Amsterdam. So that's gonna be the color that's gonna be on my base coat for my canvas. In my scoop and dustpan, I have Artist Loft Neon Pink. I have Artist Loft Aqua Green. I have Artist Loft Violet, I have Artist Loft Cerulean Blue, and then I also have a yellow, which for some reason I don't have right in front of me, but it's this wonderful yellow here. And this is also an Artist Loft color. So I have gone absolutely all the way to Easter with a bugs, with an Easter bunny and an Easter duck and all the Easter colors. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this first. I'm going to put my base coat on my canvas and then I'll have you watch me layer one of these cups. So let's get to it. Alright people, so I have a greyish blue base coat. Now, let's get to layering a cup. So, I'm going to do this one right here, right next to my lovely egg. So using my wonderful Easter colours, I am going to think about how I'm going to pour these into my scoop to pour them back out again. So this is the wonderful violet. Now, one thing you can very clearly see is that these colors are super thick. And there was a reason for that. You know, what happens whenever you pour something onto something that's sitting vertical is it just tends to drip straight off. So the thicker the actual paint, the better the chances are of something actually clinging to the outside of it. So it was intentional that these paints were quite so thick. However, we're gonna see what happens as we get to pouring these bad boys out. I think I have every single color in here. Just going with a bit more purple because it was my first one in the pot. Okay, so that is my layered cup. Okay, so here is my layered cup and here is Scarlet the scoop. Now let's ring pour into Scarlet and then we can get this on the egg.
Okay. Right. Now let's see what happens as we pour this ring onto our egg. Let's do this. That's beautiful. Okay, I did have some left in the scoop, but I wanted to stop because I kind of felt like I had a little bit of every single color on the edges of this egg. Mm -hmm. So I've got my yellow and my pink, I've got my greens and I've got my blues. So let's leave this bad boy to dry. I just want to make sure that I'm completely covered on all sides. Oh my God, that's amazing. Hopefully it's going to continue to drip down and cover this egg, but I don't want it to drip down the actual egg itself. <laughs> so let's see what happens. I'm going to torch this off real quick. All right, so in order to use up the paints and this canvas, I have my dustpan with my pot, with my wonderful Easter colors in it. Now let's ring into the pan. Okay, and taking what's in this pan, we're now going to transfer this to the canvas. All right, it is, in fact, tilting time. So let's Easter egg tilt this one out.
All right, folks. So there you have it. That was really fun. Um, really, really fun, in fact. Jeremy says this looks like Hair Bear Land. Definitely is very psychedelic. Love all the kind of the, the pinks and the blues and the yellows in this. Um, I love playing around with the dustpan, as you know, and really enjoy this one. So I'm going to get my edges and then we're going to take you in for a close up. And um, yeah, hopefully you like our entry into the extravaganza. Thank you guys. So there you have it folks. There you have it. That was our Easter extravaganza plus two canvases. Yes. Um, we hope that you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Yeah? Yeah. So I was really excited about you doing balloon kisses. Yes. And it was kisses and a blow, I think, right? Yeah, kiss and blow. Kiss and blow. Um, we reached out to the wonderful Jilly and told her that we were doing this episode. And um, she's already forewarned us that this is addicting. <laughs> and she said, especially when you get such awesome results like that, mm. you might want to just keep doing this over and over and over again. I want to do it again There so you bad. go. He's already addicted. <laughs> That's awesome. It was so much fun watching you do it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed I can't it. wait for you to try it, honestly. I'm going to give it a go, that's for sure. So, why don't we do this? We've got four things to show you. We've got a couple of Easter eggs and then we've got a couple mm. of canvases. So, if I may go first. Of course. Um, this is a very different egg to the one that you saw. My egg fell over and so I had to re-pour it. But this is my egg. Now it has got a coat of clear lacquer on this too, but it is still drying. But I don't know if you can see because it's really subtle on camera, but I did get some really awesome lines on this one that started all the way at the top and worked all the way down the egg. Um, it is particularly Easter-y, very kind of, you know, well, not kiddy. I don't want to say kiddy, but it's it's really fun. It's very bright, very Easter-y. Yes. I really enjoyed it. That one's going to go and continue drying. Yes. What about and yours, Jeremy? This one is mine. Yours Oops. did not fall over because you were on the plastic <laughs> cone. I'm going to have to hold mine. Right. But mine turned out kind of dark but very mysterious. Mm. Yes, I like to say it was very mysterious. And you've got all those so. colors of all the kisses in there though. Yeah. I know your base coat of that, that purple was particularly dark. Yeah. But it looked great. I loved it. I do, I, I really like how this came out. It was so much fun. It okay, was. and then let me show you my canvas. Now this has completely dried, thankfully. So this is my Easter inspired canvas. Again, with all my Easter colors yes. um, on that grayish blue background. Jeremy said this looked like Care Bear Land. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I might have a couple of your nieces that might enjoy this one. Oh yeah, absolutely. For sure. Um, but that was my wonderful dustpan pour on that really yes. awesome background. Yes. And mine... Save the best all love. You know, if I was a Care Bear, I'd have a taco on my stuff. I saw that you put that on Facebook the other day. <laughs> So this was my kiss and blow. Oh my God, that's so crazy. I loved the process where you blew with the straw into the white and all those colors just revealed. You yeah. did say yourself that you think you used too much white. I did, I used too much white at the top and you can see how like my little kiss and kisses weren't as full as they should have been making flowers. It's more like little wilting flower petals at the top. That's okay. But, um, but I really loved how this came out actually. It's so, it's so unlike anything we've done on the channel before. I so know. colorful. I know. That's why we have to do it again. Yeah. yeah. And we will do it again, and quite possibly in the next episode or two. Yes. Yeah? Yay. We've got plenty of balloons, so, I know. <laughs> so I know. we really should give it a go. Um, well, I'm getting very excited, mm -hmm, mainly too. off the fumes of the lacquer that we put on the <laughs> eggs, but please 
follow us on this journey as we continue on. Yes. Next up, you've got wonderful Sarah Mack. Uh huh. And she's going to do something that might be excellent. And then after Sarah Mack, at one o'clock PST, you've got Fiona. Yes. And we all know Fiona's going to do something amazing. Oh, amazing, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be, the fun is going to continue. Please continue with us on this journey as we go from house to house and go and see what everyone else is exploring. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yes, and happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter to everyone. We hope you have a great weekend. Kids, not too much chocolate. Um, Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> But please do have fun. Have a great weekend. Yes. And we'll see you back here for a regular episode on Tuesday. Thanks for joining Bye, us, guys. guys. Bye. So there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to, and that's to our Patreons. Patreons. Uh, or, as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now, the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. What? You might get up the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, at a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. Yeah. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases yes. to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Salonki, AKA Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, AKA Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. Yes. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.